work. It's Saturday night. <laughs> wow, this stuff really packs a wall. Mom. Mom, listen. Why? Dorothy, honey, it's Rose. We need to talk. I said go away. Leave it to me. In a few minutes, I'll have her beaming from air to air. Cup of tea, Ma. Hmm? Good idea, pussycat. Ma, you never thought I wasn't your daughter, did you? Of course not. Because if you want to check the results... Oh, of don't talk crazy. Go in and make the tea. I'll be right in. What have you got there? Nothing. Well, but that's what the fight was about. My father offered a dowry and Charlie wouldn't take it. Oh, well, maybe that's because he knew eventually those beans had stopped jumping. <laughs> or maybe he just loved me. Beans. I'll have you know it was the... And Ma. You told everybody but me? Honey, I didn't even know if you'd know what a lesbian was. <laughs> I could have looked it up. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm sorry. I thought I was doing the right thing. I guess I underestimated you. Well, that's not important. I've got a bigger problem. I have you seen this yet? B H. B H. Blanche Hollingsworth. Well, Blanche must have written this when she was a little girl. <laughs> Can you imagine Blanche as a little girl running and... It was the minute I see him. Well, he's right here. We can... Where'd he go? Mr. Trevor's out on the ledge. Looks like he's about to jump. Oh. Hey, hey, where's everybody going? We've got a show to do. You're on. <laughs> I'm on in five, four, three. Oh, I am just so relieved that Ma came through that operation okay. Yeah, she's a tough old woman. Takes a lot more than someone like you to kill her. <laughs> Hi, Rose. You going back to the hospital? Yes, I promised a friend I'd fill in for her tonight. But it's the... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Bornack. My name is Dr. Ravel. Oh, hello. I'm here to tell you that Dr. Ashton won't be able to perform your surgery tomorrow. He's been subpoenaed in a malpractice suit. <laughs> you know, with all the work I put in on this campaign, I might as well run for fashion show chairman myself. <laughs> That's so funny. You, Rose, you can't be fashion show chairman. Well, you thought Giorgio Armani was a puppet on Ed Sullivan. <laughs> Rose, you worked for Thomas Dewey? No, Melville Dewey. The founder of the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> you know, your Gil Kessler doesn't stand a chance of winning. Ah, uh, who says? The Miami Post, the Miami Journal, the Miami Trip. Right now, it'll be the nicest sound in the world. <laughs> Ma, you know, you don't look good. I'm short and I'm old. What did you expect? Princess Di? I think we should call the doctor. I don't need a doctor. Listen, Blanche, would you call, please? The number's sure. by my bed. Dr. Harris. I hate doctors. The only doctor I ever... Come get him. I've got a date tonight and no jewelry to wear. Some scum's woman is wearing my mama's jewelry. I wonder if jewelry comes from Jewish people. In Little Falls, the jeweler was Jewish. Jeweler? Jewish? I wonder if there's a connection. <laughs> I think... Besides, I believe there's no return clause on fighters. Unless you're Robin Givens. <laughs> Ma, this isn't making any sense. It's all legit. I checked it out. Well, look, if you don't mind, we're going to make a few phone calls of our own in the morning to try to find out what this is all about. I mean, the whole thing is ridiculous. Fine. The one who had her nose done. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Mo. <laughs> I don't believe you two kept that secret from me. Rose, why didn't you tell me? Well, you're always so critical about those kinds of things. I, I am not. I'm sorry. How much did it cost you? $700. Boy, you were gypped. 
any sense. There's, thou shalt not commit adultery, and thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Two out of ten refer to hitting the sheets, and they couldn't fit in lying? <laughs> Does anybody think before they write this stuff down? Uh, you're not making any sense. I can't talk to you when you're half asleep. Excuse me, it's only 4 a.m. Mrs. Petrillo, you're under arrest. Well, it ends well. Huh? It's the title of a Shakespeare play. Well, Rose, nothing is well and nothing has ended. Mrs. Petrillo. You're not here. Ma! <laughs> Don't ma me, you cheap floozy. <laughs> ma, ma, you would do this to your own flesh and blood. You get over it, Dorothy. And if you don't... Who cares? I'm on my way to see Bert Reynolds. <laughs> Cheerful demeanor that we are talking to a new hospital administrator? Not even close. Oh, what, you gonna take an antidepressant? <laughs> oh, don't be silly. But I was depressed. Incredibly depressed. I didn't know which way to turn or where to go. So I stopped in at the coffee shop at the Fountain Rock mm -hmm. for a root beer float to meet me. Uh, that's reverse, Dorothy. I did that once. <laughs> it was his birthday. Uh, Ma, we did not get a VCR so that you could watch dirty movies. I'm 81. What are you worrying about? You Lynch, that's a beautiful reason to take that job. Mm -hmm. Well, that wasn't the only reason. Uh, that factory also had a comprehensive dental plan, and I was in desperate need of a bridge and two crowns. <laughs> War as hell. So were my teeth. Anyway, <laughs> while I was working on that assembly line, why, I met a young man named Andrew. I'll move to it. But I need to go in the bathroom, Rose. I hate to go anywhere without my active fed. <laughs> Good morning. I can't let you see my eyes. They look terrible from crying. Rose, you couldn't possibly look terrible to me. I left my contact lenses in the bathroom. <laughs> Uh, you can put the luggage right there. <laughs> there would be fine, too. Girls, this room looks nothing like the pictures in the brochure. Oh, this room isn't good enough for you? Well, not for $100 a night. It's southern. <laughs> Sleeping with your brothers is southern. <laughs> dust, Rose, dust. We're running out of time. Sophia! If you hated your sister, would you clean the house? I'd put Vaseline on the tips of her walker. A toast. Okay. <laughs> To finality and closure. To husbands being out of our lives and gone forever. Oh. Dorothy! No, wait, wait. This is good. I mean, don't cry. Why are you crying? Our husband... I'm a... Read it and weep. <laughs> a driver's license. Ma, how did you get this? Hard work and determination. If you put your mind to it, you can do anything. Look, Ma, I absolutely forbid you to drive a car. Oh, look, Dorothy, I'm shaking. Look, I'm, I'm not saying you're a cheater. I'm not saying that, you, that you're like Stan. I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with me that I'm, I'm not trusting enough, but uh, I'm going to need some time. So what are you telling me? It's going to be months or years or maybe never? So what do you think? They're adorable. Oh, they're perfect for the show. Take five. Go wait in the van. <laughs> it's not professional to have them here while I'm negotiating. Negotiating? Sophia, this show is for charity. The word charity is not in a good agent's vocabulary. <laughs> Ma, look. With this heat wave we're having, he's got them stacked up like firewood in all four locations. <laughs> Hi, girls. Hi. Is she here yet? Who, Rose? My sister. I left you a note on your bathroom mirror. Why did you leave a note on my bathroom mirror? Because it was the only one that had enough steam. <laughs> Barbara, 
this place is incredible. Yes, it's the hangout for Miami's literary intelligentsia. Ah, thank you. I'm sorry, look, we have to do something about the roof. It's getting worse. Forget it. You know how Blanche is. She'll wait for the city to cave in on her before she'll do anything. Blanche, listen, we really have to talk about the roof. Dorothy, I already called the repair man. Last night, the damn ceiling caved in on my bedroom. <laughs> Not the... Forgive me for the way I acted. Winning doesn't mean anything if it means losing your two best friends. Besides, we all bowl well this year. That's why I had all our names engraved on this trophy. In my opinion, we're all winners. Well, oh. Rose, what a sweet thing to do. Oh. oh. Uh, who's calling me? It's me. You know. <laughs> oh, Sal, is that you? Could it possibly be you? Oh, Sal, please prove to me it's you. You dirty rat. You killed my brother. Uh, oh, Sal. Uh, no, Blanche isn't here, and uh, she won't be back for a long, long time. That's all right. I've been in prison ten years. I'm real good at waiting. <laughs> Um, <laughs> can I get you something, Meryl? Are you the doctor? Yes. Oh, the contractions have been approximately five minutes apart for the last 45 minutes. I suggest you see how dilated she is. Gee, I never would have thought of that. <laughs> Let's get her head up so the baby can get more no, oxygen. No, 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 no get no, her no. feet up so it'll be no, a boy. No, no, Always no, run. No, 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 TV guide and you toss it on top of your ten items, I'm supposed to look the other way. I think not, Dorothy. <laughs> Dorothy, my car is gone. What? My car has been stolen. Oh, come on, Rose. Slow down. You probably just forgot. You're just so much like him. But I'm not him. <laughs> I feel like a fool. Oh, Blanche, honey, it's never foolish to hold on to a memory. Sometimes it's all we're left with. I miss him so much. And was my father. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> what? Get out of my house. I did not hear what you just said. So, are you two an item or what? No. <laughs> no, we decided it was best if we didn't see each other. Are you sure, Dorothy? In your heart of hearts, are you positive you made the right decision? Yes, ma'am. Fine, then I want you to meet someone. Dr. Tansy? <laughs> this is my daughter. <laughs> What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? You're ruining the biggest step. Oh, there. Tu mantieni la finestra ferma. Dorothy, you hold the window in place. Rosa, tu martelli. Rose will do the hammering. Uh, Blanche, tu aditi. Blanche, you'll do the screwing. And he came up with that one on his own, I swear. <laughs> Leave the door open. <laughs> Yes, Mrs. Cleaver. Hey, girls. Gee, what's my diary doing here? Next to a pair of pliers. <laughs> Which, of course, as I'm sure you're both aware, means... Uh, Ma, is there any more of that uh, ZT? Nope, clean me up. There's not a drop of food left. Oh, then why do you say we call it a night, huh? Well, wait a minute. We haven't decided... To see each other ever? Is this the way you want things left between you? Wait a minute. Are you referring to Francesca Raguso's Christmas party back in 55? Yes, the one where you kissed my Carmine. What? I never kissed Carmine. You never even kissed Carmine. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it like it was yesterday. I figured it was the first time. It's been 15 years since he died, huh? Boy, he must have been something. 
this may sound silly, but it's true. I felt I would be unfaithful to Charlie if I slept with you. Rose, it's not silly. Dorothy, I hesitate to say this, but something in Frank's eyes says to me he, he thinks of you as more than just a friend. Blanche, the man is a priest. The man's a man. <laughs> I'm not going to listen to this. Dorothy, listen, I know what I'm talking about because I was in a very similar situation once and he was a man of the cloth. Oh, totally dedicated to his... What's it supposed to mean? Oh, honey, it just means that sometimes you tend to be a bit naive, simple, childlike. She's calling you a moron. You don't want to live with a woman like that. Tell her to sell the house. Ma. Oh, yeah, well, it just so happens that there are a lot of things I can do better than you guys. Name one. Can you tighten a horn on a helmet? Smoke a hair? You remember the other day when you said you thought it was time that we were friends again? I believe I'm ready to try. <laughs> right here, where we first met. Um, Ma, Rose, why don't we go into the kitchen? What, miss all this? Get up. <laughs> Jake, listen, I know what you want to ask me now. Now, this. now I, I have my education exam tomorrow morning. You mean you're kicking us out? Rose, I have to study. That's my Dorothy. Always with her nose in a book. Unlike your brother Phil, who was always with his nose in a dirty clothes hamper. <laughs> I cannot believe you would be so cold-blooded as to cast out your two dearest friends. It's just a little punching up. You mean exaggerate the truth, create wild and colorful stories just to impress people? Dorothy, you can't do that. Oh, I know. That's my specialty. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Found a baby robin that fell out of its tree and returned it to its nest. Make that a baby eagle. Baby. Yeah. Hey. Here you go, half butter pecan, half rocky roll, just like you like it, ma'am. Thank you, Sophia. <clears throat> mm. Oh, here, darling, that's for you. Wow, a whole dollar. Now I can buy those knee highs I've been saving up for. <laughs> Let me know if you have any more work, Blanche. Well, I may want you to take this large eyes for sleeping with Sam. Everybody does. <laughs> Blanche Devereaux, you sit down and shut up and listen. I did not sleep with him, and I didn't lose the earrings. You did. Not to mention my watch, which I didn't even know you borrowed. Oh, I thought I'd mention that. No, you didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, sorry doesn't cut it, Blanche. I've spent all week making... There's more clubs and nightclubs, all within reach. Dance the samba till morning, then lie on the beach. Each view is a postcard, each day a great time. Oh, the cream of the crop hits the top of the line. Nuclear bomb the day after. Eight years old, and this is the kind of thing that's on her mind. That's unbelievable. Well, she wasn't the only one. Three other girls did pictures just like it. I don't understand, though. Oh, honey, it's not so uncommon. I mean, kids hear about nuclear war on TV. They read it in the papers. It's part of their lives. I mean, they can't help but... And Dorothy's Bornack, a substitute teacher. <laughs> Our first category is English History. Shared command with Cromwell in victory at Naseby. Uh, who is Baron Fairfax? That is correct. <laughs> Maybe it isn't a heart attack. Oh, Rose, honey, she's 80 at 80. Something's got to go. Well, not necessarily. My grandparents lived to their 90s. One was 102 in Minnesota. So? Rose, you know how they freeze dead people to preserve them and then bring them back? I thought I saw the king himself walk by, eating a giant chili cheeseburger and drinking a 36-ounce Dr. Pepper. It turned out it was an impersonator, but these are still very special mementos. And parting with them is an extremely painful sacrifice on my part. Buck and a quarter. A dollar and a quarter? Did you see it? <laughs> Well, Dorothy, to be fair, one of them was Stan. Do I sense a tinge of envy there, Miss Going Going Gone for twenty-five fifty? You can't put a price tag on beauty, Dorothy. I'm sure you can. You kept Phil in this room because it was the warmest room. And I guess I was a little starved for attention because I remember... 
Oh, Salvador, isn't he beautiful? A piece of art. Mm. But what do you have him in Dorothy's hand-me-downs for? So he wears girls' clothes for a while. What's a good... But nobody would notice. <laughs> Come on, Amar, what's really going on? You don't usually eat pasta for breakfast. I'm carbohydrate loading. I signed up for the charity walkathon. Oh, Ma, are you nuts? I mean, this is for people who walk a lot. So what do I do, hover? <laughs> Need one of those places? I can't go to one of those places. I'd be too ashamed. I'd be too embarrassed. What is there to be ashamed of? You have a medical problem. Was Betty Ford embarrassed? Was, was Liza Minnelli embarrassed? She should have been. Did you see Arthur, too? <laughs> Rose. Big dance back in St. Olaf to kick off pretzel week. My Uncle Gunther after the great beer nut shortage of 20 minutes. Foul, foul, send a judge over here. This woman is trying to put us to sleep. <laughs> you're just exhausted and you're trying to blame it on me. Exhausted? I'll show you. How's the stress look on me? What's the difference in half an hour be crumpled on the floor next to an empty bottle of Jack Daniels? <laughs> Blanche, I want to ask you a question. Who was the president married to? Nancy Reagan. Of course, the thin one. He helps out of the helicopter. <laughs> this idiot thinks he's married to Broderick Crawford. I should submit his story in the district contest. I think you should. Oh, he's a very special kid, Dorothy. Oh, he really is. I'm just crazy about him. He wants so much to learn. You know, he gets this look in his eyes when he's listening to me. You don't see that look very often. I think that that look is the whole reason that teachers... Funny. I was too shocked, and I didn't know how to tell him. And to tell the truth, I don't even know what I want to tell him. What do you mean? I mean that I am totally confused about what I feel. Hi, Stan. Hello, Stan. Blanche. Really? <laughs> to square things with Guido. Sicily, what are you talking about? Sicily? She said she cleared it with you. She did not clear it with me. Then giving her my visa card was a bad thing? <laughs> Rose, but how are we supposed to find her? Angelo. Okay. <laughs> Once upon a time in the magical land of Fluffusenhaven. <laughs> Live Tunder the Mediocre Tiger. He was called Mediocre. Got a minute? Sure. Good. Crochet me a scoff. <laughs> Ma, I need to talk to you about Alvin. He's sick, Ma. What are you talking about? You've never even seen him. I've seen him, Ma. After you had that fight, I was worried about you, and I... Then our charity dance marathon is now entering its seventh hour. Let's give our contestants a great big hand. Hi, girls. How are you holding up? Oh, fine. Just doing fine. Terrific. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of the... all those years of sending them to their room until they were ready to apologize to you. Now, all of a sudden, everything's just... All topsy-turvy. I don't know if I can do it. Maybe it'd help if I sent you to your room. Oh. Rebecca. <sighs> no, no, please, go on. That's enough. <laughs> Michael, I want to talk to you about last night. Sure, Ma. You ungrateful brat. How could you do this to me? Um... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's not what I planned on saying. It's okay. You Schman awaits. We rent the movie. We order some takeout. We talk about you. That's entertainment. <laughs> I love that. And we cuddle. <laughs> Sometimes we do more than cuddle. Sometimes you stay. <laughs> That's the part I like the best, when you stay. Dorothy, it was great. Thanks for the hospitality. Sophia, girls... Take care. Uh, Stan, just a minute. I'd like to talk to you. Well, sure, okay. Now, let's go where we can have some privacy. I hate it when he does that. <laughs> this is Devereaux. 
There's someone in the bar for you. Oh, God. Oh, girls, this is it. Can you see him, Rose? Yes, I think I can. He's coming this way. Oh. He's very handsome. <laughs> you know, ever since the funeral, I've had this dream where it's all a mistake and, and George is really alive and I just feel so happy. We see each other, we run to embrace, but just before we hug, always just before we hug, I wake. Mistake. I don't want to make a fool out of myself. Pussycat, you're never too old to make a fool of yourself. Those were your exact words when I told you I lost that money. Yeah. And you were right. I never felt so stupid. Of course, I would have felt a lot more stupid if it had been my money instead of yours. <laughs> now, what do you think I should do? Gerald, to continue seeing you. Allow me. Ella, mother, this is where it stops. See what happens. You put sugar in his tea, didn't you? It is not the sugar, mother. It's you. Mama's boy, huh? This is my life. I'm a grown man, and I am going to love the woman I want to love, whether she meets with your approval or not. Dare dog. <laughs> Ma, listen, I'm taking you to the hospital. No, I want Stan's doctor. I trust this sweet man. <laughs> Mom. Sweet. Ma, you hate Stan. Not anymore. Now I love him. Love, 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 love this man. Oh, Where'd that come from? Oh, the mind, huh? I can't wait to be your son. Oh, you are delightful. Such a gem. Here, get yourself a girl tonight. You understand. Ah, please. We're trying to have a private moment. Private, please. They caught him on a billboard spray painting something obscene on Spuds McKenzie. <laughs> the dog they use in those ads is really a female. Rocker was just making Spuds anatomically correct. <laughs> Ma, I'm telling you, the man is bad news. He has no... <laughs> what else is on your list, Arthur? Uh, I wanted to entertain people. Oh, you an entertainer? <laughs> well, yes. I was in the drama club. I was also voted the most humorous girl in my class. She went to a special school for the dull. <laughs> I did not. Okay, it's time. I just want to keep the record straight. Besides, Blanche has had experience in that area. Maybe she can give you some advice. Oh, I certainly can. In the first place, never check in as Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Always check in as Mr. and Mrs. Don Shula. <laughs> what? That way you always got to... No, we realize that the hospital has rules and you have to try to uphold those rules. But you have to realize that this is a very special case. So I'm going to quote from the Bible just to show you how determined we really are. Now, the good book says... Um, Oh. Because you all are around to change its diapers and clean up after it when it spits up and pees. I'd love to be a mother again. <laughs> are you all sure you really want to do this? Oh, look, I know it's going to be a lot of work, but, oh, it'd be worth it to hear a baby's laugh around the house. Oh, come on, let's do it. What do you say, Ma? What choice do I have if I say no? No, I just have to work this out for myself. Why don't you just sleep on it, Rose? I know you'll make the right decision. Good night, honey. from New Jersey. You're a profile in courage, Blanche. And for us to do. Okay. It was so nice finally meeting you all. Oh. See you later, Clayton. Oh, isn't it nice to see a brother and sister who are such good friends? Oh, it certainly is. <laughs> oh, I always wish that I could have been closer to my brother Phil. You know, go places together, share experiences. Although I did... Forget it. The only sights we're seeing is the empty parking lot behind the mall. I already showed him that. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have an idea. Blanche, you're free. Why don't you take Sven around? I don't think I feel like sightseeing. Oh, it might do you good, Blanche. I know it'll do you good, and it's certainly a lot healthier than sitting here in the house and marking the days off on my big ships of the Navy calendar. <laughs> I don't think I can stand it much longer. My body feels like a Corvette up on blocks with its engine racing and the wheels just spinning and spinning with nowhere to go. I feel like I'm going to explode. Dother, you have to help me. You have to do something. Honey. They sit like that all day, every day. He's even started referring to my husband as that dumb Bajagaloop. 
<laughs> how did you how did you know that she was my mother just a guess from the way you were watching and after what happened yesterday i thought you might show up he told you about the well i sent carl home now i just have to talk to miles talk to miles you seen somebody else rose I can explain. No, I understand. Oh, Rose, of course, you're dating. That's why I've come to a decision. I'm going to go to Washington. I'm going to talk to the Bureau. I am leaving the Witness Protection Program. No, I just know I need... Oh, I just love a mime. It's all on account of my Uncle Gustav. He was a coal mimer. <laughs> you mean a coal miner? No, a coal mimer. You see, he had a bad back, and he didn't want to lose his medical benefits, so every morning he'd go down the shaft and pretend... Dorothy, what are you doing? Watching Amazing Discoveries. Look at that. The thing just shucks the corn off the cob. <laughs> it just sucks it off. <laughs> Oh, oh, honey, that's silly. You don't know Holly. She just got her directions all mixed up. It was a mistake. Just like it was a mistake leaving me out of dinner at Antonio's and a mistake leaving me home for the play? Rose, you are overreacting to this. Now calm down. Let's just go and enjoy the movie. What movie? <laughs> well, I guess it depends on how you look at it. And Dr. Gordon W. Taylor obviously looked at it with desire in his eyes. Why else would he ask me after Friday night? <laughs> so you canceled the surgery for a date? Well, it wasn't just any old date. It was a date with a plastic surgeon, Rose. Beauty is his stock and trade. He can create any face, any body he wants. I'm going to miss you. just went up. I'll get back to you within 48 hours. <laughs> What's going on? Where did she take Fernando? She took him home, Rose. Rose, see, honey, uh, Fernando doesn't exactly belong to you anymore. <laughs> well, I kind of gave him to Daisy <laughs> by mistake. <laughs> Sweet Rose, don't talk. I must publish a guide to go with my book. It's too full of references people could not possibly understand. It will be taught in universities. There is a cop. In a dress without a gun. So basically what you have here is a crossing guard thing. All right, all you gals are going to get locked up in a closet. And us boys are going for a little walk. Wow. Were you overactivity? Friends pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not wearing a bra. <laughs> Oh, Blanche, honey, I just wanted to thank you again for last night. I need to win, Dorothy, and let's face it, you are no Sonia Nielsen. Rose, get professional help. Well, I am devastated. Just devastated. Devastated. Oh, not at all. Don't you just love the style, the technique, the use of color? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd give anything to own a painting like that. How about that painting for a new roof? You're kidding. Of course she's kidding. That painting means everything to me. I could never part with it. <laughs> Sophia, are you crazy? Crazy about the kibble. Ma'am, who cares story? That is a why in the hell tell in the first place story. Blanche, well, Blanche, I'm Blanche. sorry, I'm sorry, but it's just that I actually went through a very rebellious stage as a teenager. I know how difficult it can be. Well, what did you do that was so rebellious? When I was 15, I dropped out of school for a month to become a magician's assistant. When I was six... Stop! Even surgical stockings only have so much elastic. <laughs> Hello. I thought you two would be asleep by now. <laughs> Girl, down here, honey, and tell us all about your trip. Oh, it's fabulous. 
The food was delicious, the weather was absolutely gorgeous, and the activities on board ship, well, the list goes on forever. Masquerade balls, hoot nannies, tours at the engine room, fashion shows, jazzercise, Las Vegas night, Monte Carlo night, Rio night. <laughs> Dorothy, I'm about done with this side of the family tree. I think you have the papers there from the Roquet marriage. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Walker Roquet married Rosalind Roquet, 1861. Rosalind was from... Uh-oh. Oh. What? Lust. Look, Ma, I am a grown woman and I have needs. Needs? You need food. You need air. You need a better wrinkle cream. You don't need sport nookie. <laughs> this is wrong for you, Dorothy. Wrong for me? You know, Ma, this... Now I have Dorothy and Blanche and Sophia to keep me warm. Not just on a cold winter's night, but all year long. <sighs> Take care of them, God. If anything happened, I just... Rose, thanks for the lovely prayer. <laughs> They might also have tentacles on their legs so that they can suck all the blood out of our heads. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Rose. I'm sorry. Now, part of me is very excited, but part of me is petrified. I cannot relax with this. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to because Major Barker volunteered from Meals on Wheels, and I think I'm really making progress with Jimmy, although I could make more if Ma would stop yelling, Boo! <laughs> Boy, you're really taking an interest in that man. What happened to him, anyway? Yeah. The turmoil of the 60s just got to him. The 60s were an emotional time for all of us. That is Sonny Bono. He's a major television star. Boy, you have been gone a long time. <laughs> Blanche, I, I know you're shocked and that this has caused you incredible pain. Yeah, you might say that. Now, I didn't do it to be cruel. It may seem cowardly, but I... I know I saw her come in here. Bro! Oh. Rose! Bro. Honey, are you in there? Rose, Rose, please come out and talk to us. Go away. I never want to talk to you two again. Look, Rose, honey, you have every right to be angry. What we did was inexcusable. But, Rose, at least I let us shrink. That chicks really eat that stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Catherine and I fell in love and... On the spur of the moment, we decided to get married. The wedding is a week from tonight, and you're all invited. <laughs> I talked to the kids. They said they're going to try and fly in. Well, I got to go now. I'm on my way to surprise Catherine with this. Well, we can spend some quality time together. You got that idea from her fable? No, I got it from this brochure somebody left on the table. <laughs> but I'll tell you, I never would have read it if her fable hadn't bored me to tears. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. You're welcome. <laughs> Ma, I have a surprise for you. Nursey, nurse, nurse, nurse thing. I never thought I'd see you again. <laughs> well, Sophia, I'm going to have to keep my word. As soon as you can walk, I'll have to leave. Yeah, I know. As soon as I can walk. But I don't think that's going to be for a long... I'm going to miss you. Gonna die. Ma, the doctor says you're healthy as a horse. Well, actually, the doctor in our prepaid health plan says you're healthy as a camel. <laughs> I assume in his country it's the same as a horse. You know, Dorothy, for an extra five dollars, we can get a doctor who sees patients one at a time. Oh, Blanche, Blanche, this is Dr. Jonathan Newman. Get out of here. <laughs> But, Dorothy, he's a little early. Yes, but we're delighted to see him. Hi, Jonathan. Hello, Rose. You're looking lovely. Oh, look, it's a letter from my friends, Philomena and Dominic Bosco, back in Sicily. Oh. They're visiting Miami, and they're bringing their daughter, Gina. Who are they? Oh, well, Gina and I were born within minutes of each other at the same hospital in Brooklyn. That's when Ma became friendly with Philomena, before the family moved back to Sicily. Well, the Boscos be... Rose, can I ask you a question? Sure. 
Why is your name three times larger than ours? Because I'm the one who actually won it. If you ever want to look at it, it'll be in my bedroom. Todd. Trudy's dead. Please, everybody, everybody. It happened this morning when we were playing tennis. Trudy's heart just couldn't take it. I Originally, it was to keep the Visigoths away, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Am I convincing? Guess what, ye old town slut? Ladies, just leave. Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Hello, front door. It's me again. Uh, my name is Rose Nyland in 118. I, Brother, oh. and this is Doug. He's my... Ah! Small fire. It's out now. So. I have a certain Scandinavian nitwit hiding in the closet with a camera. Wouldn't it be better if I hid in the closet? <laughs> yes, Rose, I suppose it would. <laughs> but do you really think you can get him to remove the neck brace? Oh, please, I once got a man to crawl out of a full body cat. But my second cousin, Arlen, did it. <laughs> I think we'd better try another question. I am exhausted. I went to at least a dozen ticket brokers today. They all tell me the only way I'm going to get tickets is to go to a scalper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what's new? Hmm. Not much. You? Not much. My condolences on your husband's passing. Thank you. I've been in mourning 22 years. <laughs> My wife's been dead. Get her. No, I won't. Because Mrs. Butel will be back by then. What am I supposed to say? Welcome home. How was your trip? Oh, by the way, here's Count Bessie. <laughs> Rose, honey, think of the positive things. Now, Count Bessie accomplished more in a few years. <laughs> You're kidding. Please, there's a natural build to these kind of stories. <laughs> Sorry. So, finally, the race was underway. I start off slow. I'm cagey like a panther. But when the time is right, I pounce. The crowd is on its feet. Sophia, Sophia. My heart, run into the kitchen and get help. Who am I, Lassie? Next you're loading me into a burning barn. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Stanley, my favorite ex-son-in-law. How was the trip to the attorney? We've got to talk. What's wrong with Dorothy? She's faking a heart attack. Really sorry, I promise that I will say Hail Marys until Madonna has a hit movie. <laughs> Hi, here's my eight dollars. Let's get started, Dorothy. Oh, I'm not Dorothy, she is. I'll give you four dollars. Let's get started. <laughs> How would you like your rear end? Well, John bought me this beautiful corsage. And then when we got to the gymnasium, it was so beautiful. Anyway, when we got there, we walked in. Hi, Ma. My God, did you bust out? Oh. Don't worry. I know what to do. We'll get your phony license and birth certificate. And then a good plastic surgeon by tomorrow morning, you can be Raul Julia. <laughs> No, I didn't bust out. The exterminator came this morning and the building inspector said we could leave. So... Oh, it. Well, that's great. Now I won't be able to refill the prescription till tomorrow. Tomorrow's a holiday. Pharmacy's closed. Maybe I have another bottle in my room. 
I can't understand how you could forget to tell Rose about that accident. Forgive me, my memory's not as good as it used to be. Nothing on me is as good as it used to be. Happy. You're the one that's not happy, Mama. You're doing it again. You'll tell me how to live my life. What do you mean? Nothing's ever enough for you. It wasn't enough that I was pretty. I had to be the prettiest. Or that I was popular. I had to be the most popular. Or that I was bright. I had to be the brightest. Well, that didn't mean you had to run out and become the fattest. <laughs> Am I interrupting? I sincerely hope so. But I just thought you had a date. Oh, I canceled. He was just a nice man with a big boat who wanted to go to Bimini. <laughs> that sounds like hell. I don't know. I'm just not ready to start up something with someone new. I think it's because you miss Stephen. <laughs> Marion. And he, what makes you think he's going to ask you to marry? In half as much as when you were 18. Went off to Europe with that guy, Phil. It was Philippe. And Big Daddy understood how romantic it was to go live in Copenhagen with a tortured painter. <laughs> he painted houses, Blanche. <laughs> you are the one who has never been here for the family. You. Is it tape? <laughs> Name another one. Honey, take a cold shower. <laughs> Oh, Dorothy, would you please open this jar of macadamia nuts for me? You can't get it open? We always keep it. Honey, the table looked fine, but with her complexion, those yellow garden lights make Dorothy look like Eric Severide. <laughs> Without St. Dominic, Sophia Petrillo feels lucky tonight. Oh, right. Tonight's the big bingo game, isn't it? The biggest. I got my lucky handkerchief. I can't lose. Where did you find it? In my bra. <laughs> Oh, Rose, hi. Listen, I just picked up these pamphlets at a cosmetic surgeon, and I want you to help me decide which alterations I'll get. <laughs> Branch, none of these women have any tops on. Well, I know, honey. These are the after pictures of Sa Hi, Ma. What you doing? Thinking. About what? About wind, water, rocks. Man's place in the delicate balance of nature's harmony. Where we're going, where the road ends. Gee, Ma, I never knew you were so philosophical. I'm not, so it's down infinity. <laughs> well, Marguerite, I guess we just let our superstitions get the best of us, and I think we owe you an apology. No, no, I owe you an apology. Because you're right, I'm a lousy housekeeper. <laughs> I feel like such a silly goose. <laughs> And, and Perry Simon, and they said, you know, um, we had our affiliates convention in Miami, and uh, Selma Diamond, and um, um, one of the other actresses uh, on one of their series did this thing where they thought Miami Vice was Miami, not Doris Roberts. <laughs> A nice time, Dorothy. Wonderful. Me too. <laughs> this reminds me of when we were kids and you and Stan double dated with me and Lois Burns. Oh, yeah, we went to Roseland and you and I did the jitterbug. And afterwards to Louis for a malt. Yeah. The other living things. Oh, Rose. I don't think a guy who drives around with a fiberglass termite on the roof of his van ponders many deep questions. <laughs> Oh, girls, I'm just in ecstasy. My body is tingling all over. You will never guess what just happened. We know what happened. Let us guess what part. Come on, get back in that bed. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm in tip-top shape. There's no reason for me to stay here. Medic! <laughs> No, she wouldn't. Yes, she would. No, she wouldn't? Yes, she would. How can you be so sure? I'm a Leo. We're all very sure of ourselves. <laughs> well, it looks like I've got a wedding to go to. I'm going to a wedding myself. Do you mind if I walk with you? Not at all. You know, you're a very wise person. What did you say your name was? I didn't. Walls and this in my time. <laughs> when I see he's holding a machine gun. 
So I decide to take his advice. I move, rat a tat tat, everybody's falling like flies on your Aunt Regine. You're letting your imagination run wild, Papa. This is Chicago, not Sicily. He had just a little country rose. Some of his paintings are worth thousands of dollars. Oh, here. This is a de Kimmel on this brochure for the exhibit. Hmm. I don't get it. This kind of art does nothing for me. Yeah. But you have to open your mind to new perceptions. This is non-representational art. I work in like Jean. I like her a lot. But I think she's in love with me. She told you. Well, not in so many words, but I knew what she meant. Unless I'm wrong, Dorothy. Now, you know I'm, I'm wrong about no, so many honey, things. No, honey, you're not wrong about this. Well, Dorothy, what am I going to do? Where have you been? You know what time it is? Nine o'clock. In your dreams. You take the wrong bus again? Never mind, you didn't miss anything. What do you think you're doing? I think I'm crocheting, but to tell you the God's honest truth, I wouldn't swear to it. Ad count sheep. I'm allergic to wool. <laughs> I got to 23 and I broke out in hives. <laughs> That's when I started counting the members of the Jackson family. Michael, Janet, LaToya, Tito, Rose, and then there's Stonewall Jackson, but I don't remember him on the victory tour. <laughs> Blanche. a cucumber, thank God. Ma, you woke me up. It's time to take your medicine anyway. I just took my... <laughs> honey, I know what you're feeling. Everyone's been rejected. And honey, the loss of your first love is the worst, the very worst. Oh, I know. I remember mine. It was probably a cow. <laughs> it's like it is with you and Stan. You understand what I'm saying? You're saying that in some ways, Stan belongs in my life. And like your shoes, he may not be stylish, but he's, he's familiar, he's comfortable. And shiny on top. Don't forget shiny on top. <laughs> well, I guess that's not in a gay bar. Blanche, this isn't a gay bar. Clay, now, we did say we were going to be honest with each other. All right, now, I can do my part. You just watch this. You all over at the bar, I just want to say that I would be very proud to have any one of you date my brother. Hi, Ma. <laughs> Hi, Dorothy. Hi, Dorothy. Ma, come back. I want to sit and have a little talk. Why? <laughs> Come on now, would it hurt to spend... ...shy about meeting someone through the personals. Oh, he and I have so much in common. We both love all dairy foods, and we both requested to stand next to Burt Parks and Hands Across America. I think he sounds very nice. Are you going to go out with him? Oh, I could never go out with him. That was just an experiment. I... Uh, to the wedding. <laughs> Doug. I got an anesthesiologist, but you won't feel anything. Doug. All right, Doug. But listen, don't you forget, you be careful. This man is on loan from the Blanche Devereaux collection. <laughs> She's an idiot. I've got the perfect example. Dorothy was on her summer vacation looking for a part-time job. So she asks Rose to put her ad in the classifieds. Well, that was a mistake to begin with right away. Rose, it is not here. Look again, it has to be. Rose, I have read every want ad in the paper. Mine is not here. Are you sure you're right? Get out of our lives and get out of our town right now. You watch your tongue, Missy. I'm sorry, Daddy, but that woman is much too young for you. Well, she's practically my age. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to be in love with a younger woman. Why'd you keep it a secret? It's not a secret. I didn't think age mattered to you. It doesn't matter to either one of us. Oh, Daddy, what you're doing is wrong. You're just making a fool of yourself. 
So, what exactly is ham short for, ham? <laughs> My guess would be ham and potatoes. <laughs> Well, we'd better be running along. We don't want to be late. Yes, I'm sure you'll have a wonderful, wonderful evening. It was very nice meeting all of you. Same here. Productive. If we conducted things in a more orderly fashion. But you see what we have to put up with. She's an airhead. Oh, yeah, well, you're a barbell. That's a dumbbell, you twit. <laughs> ladies, ladies, please calm down. Now, who can give us an example that will illustrate exactly what you're trying to say about Rose? If you mean the... Glass of milk before I go to bed tonight. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, I just did some shopping to cheer us up about Rose, but it didn't work. Let me tell you two a story. No. no. A short story. No. no. An anecdote, I won't take no for an answer. Picture this. And, and sometimes he'd wear his underwear on the outside of his pants. <laughs> I guess he wasn't a very reliable source. <laughs> <laughs> oh, girls. Girls, do you really? And without having to go all the way. You cannot. <laughs> if that were true, Rose, that would mean you were a slut. Oh, come on, Blanche. How can you say that? So the woman had 56 boyfriends in one year. She's not a slut. Thank you, Doris. She is the slut. <laughs> Pussycat. When I go to trial, will you be a character witness for me? You know, tell them I'm sweet and cute and don't have it in me to harm a fly. What, you want me to perjure myself? Basically. <laughs> Ma, don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. Thank you for trying to cheer me up, pussycat. And Dorothy, she said hello and then disappeared. Is there a problem? Oh, no, no problem at all. Everything's fine. It's not like anyone died or anything. <laughs> Oh, it's so good to see everyone. But where's Trudy? When you say that. Did that champagne kick in yet? No. But if you're ready to make a move, I can pretend it did. <laughs> She can't help it, Blanche. She has to blow her nose. Or is that a banana? <laughs> I like you. I like everything about you. Sven, you hardly know me. I know enough. I know you're pretty. Yes. You're smart. Yes. Sexy. Yes. Sophisticated. Yes. No. Sven. There's something very important you don't know. Hi! Oh, honey, trust me. Martinique is perfect. It has everything. And all the men speak French. <laughs> what do the women speak? <laughs> oh, honey, everybody speaks French. Well, then we can't go there. I don't know any French. Oh, honey, don't worry. All you need to know are two phrases. Yes and no. Your roommate... <laughs> hey, I've got an idea. You know, I'm, I'm feeling a little frisky that... Did you ever make love in the out of doors? Miles, no. <laughs> well, just once. <laughs> Charlie and I went to St. Olaf's most romantic outdoor trysting place. Oh, of course. Uh, Dorothy, this is Blanche. Blanche, this is Dorothy. <laughs> you jokes like that around here all the time. <laughs> it's like living in a house full of Howie Mandel. <laughs> Sven, I'm Dorothy. Hello. And I'm Blanche. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Rose tells us you're getting married. <laughs> yes. Hi, Mom. My God, it is Michael. Oh, Michael, look, Ma, it's Michael. Oh, honey, what a surprise. You look great. Oh, am I glad to see you. Honey, I have missed you, so why the hell haven't you written, you little ingrate? <laughs> 
please, Dorothy. He's a big time user. I mean, even if it costs us a thousand dollars, we'll still have nine thousand left. Yeah, but don't start that how. We might be able to get it for a couple of hundred. We'll start at one hundred and see how it goes. Okay, okay, okay. And now, may I have an opening bid, please? Ten thousand. <laughs> Excuse me, or 80 or cocaine smugglers. You know, I'd kill to be 20 again. Oh, I would kill to be 40 again. Oh. Uh, you know, I had the shock of my life today. I was in the teacher's lounge talking to a group of girls in their 20s. Oh, uh, they were so pretty. And oh, honey, is something the matter? I, uh, I just got back from having my teeth worked on. Oh, what was it, a wisdom to... <laughs> <laughs> my dad has touched me. I think he felt my breast. All right. We gave him a couple of bucks. Uh, I guess that's why he kept saying, now remember kids, nobody likes a squealer. Here are some pictures of Dorothy at 11, a hilariously awkward age for her. <laughs> Ma, enough with the pictures. Why don't you get us some coffee? Because it gives me the trots. Where's everybody going? Out to dinner. Go get ready, Ma. I am ready. I'm always ready. You do that at 82. That and carry hot candy. Hi, I'm Dave from Lincoln Hospital. That's nice. If my blood pressure goes up, you'll be the first person I call. Bye. No, no, no. Detail. Hansel and Hansel. <laughs> You told me your parents made up these stories. Well, I thought they did, but when I called my sister for more stories, she suggested I pick up the book that Mom and Dad got them from. Well, this is great. We've been writing stories that have all... For 16 years, my entire life revolved around butter. <laughs> you were very fortunate. So many of us wasted our youth. When the time came for the pageant, I was incredible. I showed poise in the evening gown competition. I was brilliant in the oral butter quiz. They couldn't even... Somebody's got to. <laughs> Look, Lucas, can I be 100% frank? We're both adults. Now, look, I, I only came as a favor to come up with the money for a new roof. Oh, it's $10,000, Dorothy. How are we going to come up with $10,000? Well, I hate to do it, but I do have a couple of thousand in stock that I could cash in. Well, I guess I could close out my Christmas club. How much is that? Well, let's see, we're in January, so this would be...